Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is Pilgrimage of Peril by C.M. Eddy Jr. Now, Pilgrimage of Peril is a novella which was written in 1924. However, it was not published in the author's lifetime because C.M. Eddy Jr. actually died in 1967, and this story, or this novella, actually wasn't published until 19. 73, and it was published in this collection, Exit into Eternity, Tales of the Bizarre and Supernatural, and this is a collection of short stories by C.M. Eddy Jr., now, I'm going to admit, I actually didn't even know who this author was until a few months ago when I was at a horror convention and this guy was selling all these books, one of them being this book, and at first I was like, I thought maybe it was his books that he was selling, so I asked him, oh, are these your books? And it turns out that this is actually, that this guy was actually the grandson of C.M. Eddie Jr., and he said, and he said, no, those are actually my grandfather's books, and he started telling me about his grandfather, and apparently C.M. Eddie Jr. was actually friends with H.P. Lovecraft, and and worked with H.P. Lovecraft a lot. Like, uh, H.P. Lovecraft and C.M. Eddie Jr. also worked for Harry Houdini and apparently worked as ghost writers for Harry Houdini. So yeah, I met the grandson of this author, and I felt, I kind of felt like an idiot afterwards, because I kind of felt like I should have known who this author was, and I'm sure the guy was probably thinking to himself in his head, this fucking idiot didn't know who my grandfather was. I mean, he was a nice guy, but I'm sure that's probably what he was thinking to himself in his head, because I really do feel like I should have known who this author was before I bought this book, but he was a friend of H.P. Lovecraft's, and unfortunately, he's nowhere near as famous as H.P. Lovecraft ended up being. Now, Pilgrimage of Peril, as I said, was written in 1924, however, it wasn't published until 1973. So, in the beginning of the story, you have all these professors who are trying to prove the theory of astral projection, and the leader of this group of professors introduces them all to a young man named Joe Carson, who has the ability to astral project, like he has the ability to make his soul and his mind leave his body, but he also has the ability to teleport, like he could actually physically transfer his body from one place to another, and he ends up demonstrating this to the club, and he, he basically, like, his soul leaves his body, but then his physical body disappears to join his soul, and what ends up happening is he ends up, uh, basically underground, and he ends up in this underground civilization... Like, basically, this civilization, it's a civilization of people that live deep under the ground, and they live almost like people did in ancient Rome, almost, and what happens is the main character of this story starts to kind of fall in love with this girl who is actually being punished by the emperor of this underground civilization because of something she did, and that's really all I want to say about the plot of the story, but it is a really, really good story. Now, before I read this story, I was kind of expecting it to be more of a horror story, and it really isn't. It's much more of a fantasy-slash-action-adventure story. It's not really a horror story, but it is still a really, really good story. Like, it's a really fun story, and also it's very fast-paced. Like, the book, it's... well, it's a novella, so it's really only, like, 70 pages long. So, you could read it in a day, really, but I do definitely recommend the story. 
But yeah, I recommend Pilgrimage of Peril. Now, I don't know if this story was ever published in any other collections besides this one. All I know is the story wasn't published until 1973. But if you can get your hands on this collection, I definitely recommend this story. Now, unfortunately, this is the only story I have read so far by this author, but I do definitely want to check out more of this man's work, and I definitely do think it's a shame that this guy did not end up being as well known as H.P. Lovecraft ended up being. But yeah, that's my review of Pilgrimage of Peril, and bye.